there is not a square inch in the whole domain of our human existence over which Christ, who is sovereign over all, does not cry mine, Abraham Cooper. In Jewish culture, you are expected to abide by certain ceremonial orders to remain clean before God. Otherwise, if you enter the temple while ceremonially unclean, it is believed that God's perfect presence would flee from the uncleanliness and thus leave the temple. One rule for cleanliness was that women who were suffering bleeding past their time of the month were unclean until the discharge came to an end. In Matthew chapter 9, Jesus corrects this common misunderstanding of Yahweh, showing that God does not run from the world's uncleanliness, but dives straight into it, getting his hands messy with our mess, driving darkness out with light, Matthew 9, 20 through 21 says, Just then a woman who had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding came up behind Jesus. She touched the fringe of his robe, for she thought, if I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. She was correct. Even the touch of Jesus' robe creates purity out of impurity, order out of chaos, life out of death. This is the God that we serve. The structure of cleanliness for the temple has now been replaced by the holiness that we find in Jesus' blood. We are called His temple, and His presence moves within us, reaching out to touch and to heal the souls and systems of the world around us. So Abraham Cooper's famous quote stands true, and it includes our culture and our country as well. When we actively reach out for Jesus in our life, our family, our culture, and our country, we catch God's life, His healing, and a greater form of prosperity with Him. This is how we build His kingdom.